Hello and welcome to the Saturday Night Show. So, what a day. Is everybody feeling good? Yeah. Coming up after the break, Bulls John O'Shea will be putting the world to rights and we'll meet the Dublin teacher who doubles up as a Playboy honey. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> now, during term time, my next guest is the serious Miss Dixon, who teaches maths and science in an all-boys school in Dublin. But come the summer, she's hanging out with Hugh Hefner and his bunnies in the Playboy Mansion. Here to tell us all about her double life, please welcome Jenny Dixon. <laughs> Jenny, Miss Dixon. Thank you for having me on your show. You're very welcome, thank you for coming. Um, so how does a nice girl like you end up in the Playboy Mansion? A, a lucky, lucky turn of fate. I don't know. I just because you're, like, you're, you're an unlikely candidate for it. Like you're kind of a shy, nerdy kind of into your science. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was. <laughs> she, you tell them you were, weren't you? Yeah, that's correct. Um, science and maths and um, studied books and just that. That's all. That's all I did for years. And um, then yeah, you went. To, you went and worked in a lab. For, for a while as well? Yeah, environmental testing, soil and uh, water samples. Um, and I just worked there for about a year and then I fell into teaching and um, it was this dynamic environment that, uh, that I loved and laughed every day. And <coughs> so it was, did, was it teaching that started bringing you out of yourself then? I guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I had, had, to learn to, uh, had to learn to come back fairly quick and, and um, I can imagine, join in the yeah. banter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then because you, you young guys smell weakness as well, don't they, lads? And like, yeah. And come <laughs> here. Um, then you, uh, it was kind of, as always, with all great things that happen, people. It was a breakup with a boyfriend, kind of really catapulted you into finding yourself. Yes. The old cliche. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, I suppose I, I was at a stage where um, I, I'd, I'd no, I'd no other plan, and um, I, I'd always done a bit of modelling and, and acting and. I decided just to, I suppose, go for it a little bit more. Um, so I signed up for some acting lessons and I bought a ticket to LA and um, right. then I ended up in LA, yeah. Because, and there's not a lot of actors in LA, so it would no. have been an easy place to break <laughs> through, wouldn't it? So um, I, you, I believe you, you initially, so you went off to LA on your own, which is a fair play to you. And I believe initially you kind of ended up in living in a fairly rough kind of area and tough enough circumstances. Yeah, a place yeah. called Inglewood, which uh, kind of parallels with Compton. So, um, Very good, <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I had a week in this hostel there and um, I learned all kinds of new new language and I, all, I met these people with strange tattoos on their face and apparently a tear for each person they had killed and they were, you know. These were the neighbours, These yeah? were the neighbours. Yeah, right. <laughs> so then you met uh, Ruth Derujinski, is that the Ruth right Derujinski, name? Ruth Derujinski, yeah. So tell us about Ruth. Um, I went onto Craigslist, as you do over there, and I, I had to quickly get out of Inglewood for fear of shootings and, <laughs> and not okay, surviving yeah. it. Um, so I, I looked at four, four apartments in the West Hollywood area, which is an area that, um, if you want to act and model and do presenting work, is an area you, just, just, you should be in. Yeah. Um, and I suppose Ruth was the less crazy of the four. There was... Um, there was, there was some crazy viewings and Ruth was, um, I had some reservations because Ruth was in her 80s, you know, and... Um, former supermodel, yes. Former supermodel, all over her apartment was um, Bizarre, Harper, Vogue. Um, she had like dozens of covers of magazines and it wasn't until a few days later I asked her who this person on the wall was. <laughs> Nice. Um, as, she, as she had her medicinal marijuana and her glass of red wine each night, and she was really, like, they were yeah. all her covers, and yeah. and she she cursed like nobody ever met before, and she there was like a crash course in a week of how to be tough in LA yeah. from this eight-year-old lady. So and then, uh, and and she kind of encouraged you then to like a good science graduate, you sent your CV to the <laughs> to the Playboy Mansion basically, and and you got on, on on the list to kind of start going to the parties and everything. And so you were invited to your first party was the. The Midsummer's Night Dream Ball. Right. Yeah. So tell me then, I presume like a good Irish girl out in America, do, do you, you bought a new outfit for the party, did you? Yeah, I yeah. think two actually. You might get yeah. a new dress. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, the Midsummer's Night Dream Ball, it was, it was kind of a case of, of getting your invite in and putting in some effort. The Playboy Mansion, I suppose, is somewhere, um, you know, you, you get to meet 
very talented, inspiring people. And you still haven't told us what you wore to what? the party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was white and frilly. And, um, a white glittery. frilly dress? It sounds like a wedding dress. Um, a little bit shorter, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Corsetry and, and all this. Did you go in your knickers? That's what people <laughs> want to know. Do you have to go in, do the women have to be in their knickers at these things? It doesn't say you have to go in your knickers, no. Right. No. Um, it says you can dress. You wouldn't be turning up in a tracksuit like? No, not a tracksuit either, no. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. A, a nice balance in between. And so what goes on at the parties then? Are, are, are they, um, a lot <laughs> it's great parties there's yeah. no need to bring a wallet there's um champagne well i can't imagine where you put your wallet anyway yeah. really, but <laughs> signs of things um there's food and little tiers of handmade chocolates and cakes and there's waiters and there's i don't know great performers performers puff daddy and um and just like, a, it's like a melting pot of all these fascinating people where you just, you know, the slightest wow, bump off yeah. somebody and it's, I, I, I'd seen him in a magazine there the previous week or, you know, and then you're literally having a chat to these. So full of celebrities, yes? Yes, yes. <laughs> who, who did you meet? Um, people, I suppose, growing up, I would have just looked at and just, you know, yeah. a million miles away. Jamie Foxx, I had dinner beside him and um, Sean Kingston, I danced on stage with him and, um, Oh. Simon Cowell was great. He was, uh, he was, he was, he, he was, was a softie. Simon Cowell. So we've had two women on the show so far tonight, and Simon Cowell has cracked up to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hoot. Um, Perfect gentleman. And come here. What did the folks back home think? So, so you said I'm going off to LA to become an actress, and then presumably you said to them, "Oh yeah, I'm hanging because you started then regularly going to the parties. You're on the regular guesses. I'm hanging around now at the Playboy Mansion. Was your mother like, come home, you harlot?" Or <laughs> No, um, I think my mother will, will be there if she could. I think uh, she, 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 she just uh, goes with the flow and she was um, laughing along with the whole craziness of it, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, over there to me, it was just another day. It was another day of craziness. I was, um, had to pinch myself several times, you know. I'd be going to auditions. I, I got a part in a play over there that ran for eight weeks and I'd go to a red carpet event and then I'd go to the Paper Mansion on a Sunday to have lunch with um, about six of the girls I became very good friends with. And... Um, and then the the parties there's no party like us you know um i can imagine yeah but yeah. it's another mansion party there there's there's many of them over there and i was lucky enough to fall into the circle that, that allowed me to go there yeah and yeah. It, it's, what's hef like he's lovely charismatic yeah. gentleman generous um, he's clearly a very attractive man because there's a, a lot of women hanging <laughs> around <laughs> he's getting it's married again yes to crystal harris yeah lovely girl yeah how yeah. old is crystal crystal's 24. and hef is he's 80 something Wow. Yeah. Good man. And do you think, is it true love? I think there is a huge amount of tenderness between them. I think um, she really cares I, I for I bet there is. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very compatible. You know, it's, I, think, I think society... They're compatible. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I think that the cynical view would be, you know, that um, she might be after him for something sordid like his few bob or something. Yeah. But um, I, I happen to have seen the nice, tender relationship between them. And really? um, nobody else is in the room when they're, to, when they're together, so I, I think it's lovely. And okay. why not, you know? I don't want to even think about there being other people in, in the room when they're together. <laughs> so, come here, then, so you go out there for the summer, and, and, uh, and you, you've gone out there again this summer. Would you come back then, and you have to teach teenage boys who are I presumably... They're kind of a bit aware of, of what goes on, what um, Miss Dixon does during the summer and, and all that. I do the, the school Christmas play with them, so they know I'm somewhat involved in acting. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, they, ask, they sometimes would be intrigued as to how a science teacher is doing the, the Christmas play um, and bringing in some directors and actors for them to audition for. And um, So, yeah, it kind of flows on and... But do, do they, they now know that you hang out in the Playboy Mansion in the summer? I guess they do yeah. now. There's I going to be a bit of slagging now. about that. And then, of course, you were on... Do we have the cover of... Your, your picture from the cover of the weekend magazine, The Irish Independent? That was last Saturday. Yeah. Have we got that picture there? Um, maybe we don't. There it is. So, that's that, so that was on the cover of... of of the Irish Independent magazine last Saturday. Did you have to go into school on Monday and yes. teach the lads? Was there? A, did they mention it or anything? I think I think they're used to my madness at this stage. You know, <laughs> it, it's it's a mixture yeah. of science and maths and acting and everything else thrown in, and so Excellent. it's just another day. It's just another day for me being a little bit crazy, I guess. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> and did, did, a lot of dads turning up for the parent-teacher meeting suddenly. <laughs> interest in juniors it's, it's, it's progress great, it's in great maths. When, it's great when parents have interests and, and they come in and, and <laughs> education is so important so it's great when people come in yes yeah you're a good you're a good, you're a good selling point for education so listen we, we, we shouldn't forget all this is about your acting career so uh, how is the acting career going um i love it i can never get yeah. enough of this i i do a workshop once a week and i'm shortlisted for a new romantic comedy so it's um it's always fingers crossed which is why it's so exciting do you know every yeah. every different turn you take whether it's in la or, or over here um you never know what what's ahead you know i didn't know i'd be in a play in hollywood for eight weeks and i didn't know i'd be in something else the following week and this morning i was in bray running around like a lunatic being chased by two guys and that's just a normal day for, for an actor, you know? Yeah. Uh, and now I'm on your show, Brilliant. so it, it's, yeah. I love it. Listen, I have to say, you're, you're, you're kind of out there doing all the things that all of us would, would do if we had the courage to do it. So uh, fair play to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very much. Jenny Dixon. That's it for tonight's show. I'd like to thank all my guests, Jude Grace and Barry, Katie Piper, John O'Shea and Jenny Dixon. We leave you tonight with the new single from Dublin Band The Minutes, taken from their album Marcata, which is out in May. Here they are with Black Keys, The Minutes. Good night. <laughs>